everyone. As part of the Cloud Computing and Big Data course at Columbia University, my partner Ting and myself Sriharsha worked on a project called Healthcare Bot. So I'll walk you through the uh, what is our idea and then uh, give you a demo as well. So our goal is mainly to collect user information and translate it into useful data for medical usage. So we primarily are doing two things in this. One is a healthcare diagnosis and the second one is providing nutrition support like diet control etc. So we have done these four main, these are the four main components of our system. One is healthcare diag diagnosis provider that is usually a user will not have, will not know what disease he has. Instead he can tell, he or she can tell us what symptoms that he is facing and then we will basically written back a probable disease. And then based on the disease, we can find the nearest, three nearest doctors. And we'll also generate a summary report and send it to the user so that he can directly take that report to the doctor instead of again uh, conversing with doctor and telling him and finding out what the symptoms and disease could be. Second one, we, we collect user's data as well, like what is his weight and daily and historical diet information. Third, we do food suggestions. For example, he can enter the calories um, that he wants to consume and then we can provide food suggestions as well. The fourth one is calories controller. That is based on the weight he, he based on his current weight and his on his diet information. We can suggest him proactively the food that he can take so that he, he can control himself with, with with the calories intake. So here is the architecture of our uh, whole system. So in this, uh, the front end website is hosted in a, in Amazon AWS S three S three bucket as a static website which is hooked up to a uh, Lambda function and API gateway. So our primary interface is a website with, with which, which is basically a chatbot kind of a thing where we hooked it into, a, uh, into a Amazon Lex for uh, NLP conversions and translations. So behind the screens, uh, Lex talks to a Lambda functions, actually multiple Lambda functions and these Lambda functions will help us do uh, phenomenal activities at the back end. So here are the three third party APIs that we are using. One is Informatica, which is for symptoms and getting the right disease and figuring out the right disease. Then Better Doctor for figuring out who is the closest doctor available for, to solve this uh, disease. The third one is NutritionX, which is used for the nutrition provi providing in part of our whole project. So this Lambda talk, talks, Lambda function talks to these third party APIs and gets this information. Furthermore, we store our historical data in DynamoDB and we do food sessions using Amazon Machine Learning and we send the email report using simple email services of Amazon. Furthermore, uh, to figure out what are the descriptions of a disease, uh, the CloudWatch system actually triggers the Lambda function which basically goes and scraps a website called uh, Mayo Clinic and gets the detailed description of the diseases. So this is the high level architecture of our system. Now I'll show you a demo of the whole uh, flow. So here is the bot. So I, let's say, let's begin with interacting with this. Hi, so it says, how can I help you? So usually we will say, I'm sick. Okay, sorry about that. Can you provide more symptoms? Sure, I have headache. And the bot immediately figures out that uh, it could be a possible illness is tension type headache and it has a percentage of 1.92. And it follows, also follows up with a question like, has your headache started suddenly? Yes, no, don't know, stop asking. Sure, I think yes, yes it is. And then now it's uh, if you see that the percentage probability uh, increases to 4.99. Now it says, is your headache severe? Mm, let's say yes. And now it, it, it tells a list of possible illnesses like migraine, tension type headache, cluster headache, hypertension, etc. Uh, and these are all so sorted according to the decreasing order of their uh, probable percentages. And looks like I have migraine is the highest probability right now. Now, what exactly does migraine mean? Even I don't know. So we can use this link to figure out what the what migraine means. So you can see that migraine here refers to uh, can cause severe throb, throbbing pain or a pulsing sensation, etc. And this is uh, taken from Mayo Clinic. But uh, sadly, there is no API that can directly convert disease to the corresponding description. So what we instead did was to write a, a web scraping uh, a code in Python that scrapes this Mayo Clinic every one month which gets triggered automatically every one month and figures out what disease is pointed to what information. So once we have this, okay, let's say I'm done. I don't want to know any more questions. So stop asking me any more questions. And, and you know, what is the next step? I didn't like, I, I know what the disease is. So the ideal next step is doctor. So it figures out the three suggestions for doctor. So here there is Jamshiddi, Minto and Brian. And since I'm close to New York, which option would I choose? Obviously the third one. 
So it says, do you want to make an appointment? Uh, yep, sure. So it goes out and fi figures out the phone number of that hospital, which is this one, and you can call it later. So that's it. Thank you. After I replied to the bot saying that uh, I know I want to uh, speak to a doctor and it said, told me a phone number, it has always also sent me a summary report. Here you can see the symptoms that I have, like the headache, which is sudden, and headache that is severe, as well as the one week past food food information and the diet information. Because you know sometimes the disease also sometimes correlates to the food that we eat, and doctor might want to see that. Previously, we saw the healthcare diagnosis part. Now let's see how the nutrition is supported by our healthcare bot. So let's say, uh, to begin with, uh, first we have to set our weight. My weight is, let's say, 40 kgs. Okay, the weight is set to 40 kgs. Cool. So I can ask it a question like, how many calories can I consume today? And it tells me that today you did not eat anything yet. So based on your weight, you can still consume 1200 calories and it proactively suggests me like, oh for 1200 calories, maybe you can try tomato soup. Mm, let's say instead of boring tomato soup, I ate chicken sandwich, something exciting more. So once it uh, recalls that, oh, you ate chicken sandwich, uh, it also figures out how many calories it has. It has 564 calories and your food is set. Now I can ask it. Uh, I can also tell like I ate steak too and it figures out the same you, you just ate steak which on average has 400 calories now I can ask it the same question that I previously asked how many calories did I consume today and this time it figures out that it has a total of nine you had a total of 983 calories and you still can eat 217 calories and it says for 217 calories you can probably try cornflakes Let's say, you know, I'm much more excited and I want to eat something even more. Let's say I ate bread and jam. We just ate bread and jam, which has 366 calories. That is fine. Now, let's say I want, I'm a little bit greedy and I want to eat more and I'm asking it, how many calories can I still consume? And it figures out that, hey, you look, you ate chicken sandwich, you ate steak, you ate bread and jam today. And it has a total of 1349 calories. Based on your weight, you already exceeded your daily quota of 1200 calories. So this is how the suggestion like kind of uh, calories controlling uh, system works. Now we can also ask some cool, some, you know, some funny stuff like, uh, you know, how many calories in, uh, let's say, um, something like maybe conflicts. Conflicts on average has 230 calories. Oh my God. Uh, we can also ask it like, suggest suggest me food you know just suggest me food okay sure how many calories would you like to consume let's say I, i'm up i'm up for 400 calories for 400 calories you can try bacon egg egg and cheese sandwich so this is how the flow for nutrition uh, works so we can uh, we can keep conversing with our bot and you know get some useful insights and, and take care of our health so let let's thank our bot and also thank you so much uh, for watching this uh, it's been a wonderful application and we have, we have worked on a variety of AWS services as well as uh, uh, you know multiple APIs and working together on all these things and bringing it into one good healthcare bot.